Hey y'all, we're going to go ahead and make some pork stew. I have about two tablespoons of oil here in my crock pot. Now, my crock pot does a stove top setting and an oven setting and stuff like that. So, you'll have to do this. If you don't have one of these crock pots, you'll have to do it on your stove. But you're going to need two and a half pounds of pork that's cubed up. And we're going to throw this in here. And we are going to take a quarter cup of flour and toss it on our pork and we are going to fry this up until they are brown so we're just going to toss that flour around with our pork and we are going to fry these little boogers up until they are nice and brown and then we'll move on to the next step once you get some brown on your pork you're going to go ahead i'm going to put mine back on the slow cooker mode and we're going to get ready to add some more ingredients. Y'all, we're going to add in one and a half cups of wine. I normally use red wine, but I don't have any, so use what you got. We're going to add in two cups of chicken stock. Now we're going to add in a 14.5 ounce of diced tomatoes. We're going to add in two chopped up onions. Then we're going to need two carrots and three stalks of celery. I got my carrots and my celery in here. Now we're going to need two potatoes peeled and cubed up. Let's go ahead and add our potatoes in there and give that a stir. Now we're going to need two tablespoons of um, tomato paste. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste and I'm going to add one more. And then we're going to give this a stir. Add in two bay leaves. We're going to add in one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary. Now we're going to add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Stir that around. Add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. There we go. We're going to add in two teaspoons of chicken base. We're going to give that a little stir. And then we are going to add in just a little bit more broth. About another quarter cup. Okay. And you can add mushrooms if you want to this. That's completely up to you. So we're going to put a lid on it and I'm going to let this cook on low for about 8 hours until your vegetables and everything is really softened. So you can add or take away what you like. I didn't add any salt. You can add salt if you want to or wait closer to the end. So I'm just going to wait a little bit closer to the end and see if it needs any salt. So we'll be back here in just a little while. Alright y'all. So it's all done. And all the vegetables are softened. So this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. It's really delicious. Give this a try. I also have cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put a link above and below in the comments and tell you where you can order that. I hope everybody gives this a try and has a wonderful afternoon.